Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, and fellow enthusiasts of the fascinating world of anesthesia. Today, as we celebrate World Anesthesia Day, we invite you to join us on an engaging expedition through the adolescence of anesthesia, a truly transformative era that saw this field evolve in remarkable ways. Just like teenagers experiencing those awkward growth spurts and achieving remarkable breakthroughs, anesthesiology too underwent significant changes. So, come along as we embark on an inspiring journey through this captivating period of innovation and development. Picture this, it's the early 1980s, and anesthesia is going through its adolescent phase. In these years, isoflurane steps onto the scene, becoming the new sensation in town. Known for its lightning-fast induction and recovery times, it was like the energetic teenager of the anesthesia world. But, like many teenagers, it had its quirks, with a mildly pungent personality that didn't go unnoticed. It was a game-changer, setting the stage for exciting developments in the field. Our journey through the adolescent years of anesthesia also introduces us to the resurgence of two overlooked stars, sevoflurane and desflurane. These compounds, which had remained in the shadows since the 60s, suddenly found themselves back in the spotlight during the 80s. Sevoflurane's revival, brought to life by Marushi, a Japanese pharmaceutical company, later passed its international rights to Abbott Laboratories in 1992. As the anesthesia field navigated its teenage years in the 1980s, muscle relaxants were also experiencing a growth spurt. A handful of new muscle relaxants burst onto the scene, but only Vecuronium and Atricurium managed to shine and gain recognition for their unique qualities. These options revolutionized patient care and the way anesthesia was administered. Imagine a concerned voice echoing through the world of anesthesia in 1979. The issue at hand was cardiac arrests linked to local anesthetics, with bupivacaine and atidokine under the spotlight. The FDA took action, banning the use of 0.75% bupivacaine in obstetrics, marking a pivotal moment in emphasizing patient safety. As anesthesia embarked on its adolescent journey, the 1980s were marked by the ambitious quest for automated total intravenous anesthesia control. Visualize scientists and researchers racing to develop this technology using a variety of innovative approaches. Their dedication paved the way for more precise and efficient anesthesia administration. The pivotal moment of coming of age arrived in 1988 with the creation of the Laryngeal Mask Airway LMA, by Archie Brain. The LMA revolutionized airway management, becoming an indispensable tool for anesthetists, much like a teenager discovering their true identity. As anesthesia transitioned from adolescence to young adulthood, the 1990s witnessed an explosion of technological advancements. Imagine a world where monitoring became a breeze with capnometry, oxygen gas monitoring, pulse oximetry, and transesophageal echocardiography. These innovations elevated patient safety and monitoring to a whole new level. Continuing through the adolescent years of anesthesia, the trend of outpatient anesthesia gained momentum, especially with the rise of minimally invasive surgeries. Key factors fueling this transition included the introduction of propofol and the LMA, making outpatient procedures smoother and more efficient. As we celebrate World Anesthesia Day today, let this journey inspire us to embrace new technology, innovative practices, and, most importantly, a commitment to providing the highest standards of care for our patients. Together, we can continue to shape the future of anesthesia and ensure the well-being of those entrusted to our care. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating voyage through the adolescence of anesthesia. These were exciting times, marked by growth, experimentation, and significant transformation in the field of anesthesiology. Just as teenagers navigate the complexities of life, anesthesia ventured into the unknown, 
pushing the boundaries of what was possible in patient care and safety. The 80s and 90s were truly an exciting and dynamic period for this crucial medical field. Stay tuned, and let's keep pushing the boundaries of excellence in the world of anesthesia. This is Optimal Anesthesia, signing off.